Only on six tonight, concerns that a proposed bus driver rest stop could put neighborhood cafes and shops out of business and hurt the quality of life in Northeast Portland. TRIMED IS LOOKING AT TWO POSSIBLE SITES, ONE AT MLK IN ROSA PARKS, THE OTHER AT MLK IN DECOM. BUT AS CARLA CASTANO UNCOVERED TODAY, EITHER LOCATION COULD POSE SOME REAL BIG PROBLEMS FOR BUSINESS OWNERS. IF THIS IS GOING TO BE A DAVID AND GOLIATH TYPE FIGHT, I'M GOING TO SHOW THEM WHAT DAVID CAN DO. The owner of Cafe 11 is worried Trimant could buy this entire lot off of MLK in Rosa Parks Way. When he tried to talk to Trimant, he says they didn't seem to listen. And he's not the only one who got that impression. I don't know, I just think it's a pretty terrible idea, but they weren't that interested in talking about it. At the MLK and Decom site, neighbors are very frustrated about potential sound walls, noise, and exhaust. I called Tryman and emailed them, but they told me they had no one available to talk to today. So I found a former Tryman route planner. So you would have done projects like this, you would have planned them? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Having also done city architectural planning in the neighborhood, Jim Powell has a unique perspective. So what do you think about this plan? Well, I, I, I think that basically it's the wrong place for a layover. My, my transit planner <laughs> hat on, that's not a good place to end the line. Powell has an alternative plan that would move the bus driver's layover stop to the interstate and Lombard area. It not only will improve the ridership on the line, uh, and it would, uh, and I don't think it would cost them any, any extra because of the increased uh, revenue that they would get. So uh, <laughs> that used to be my job. <laughs> Powell is going to give his plan to Tryman along with the neighborhood group, and he says that it will increase ridership on the number eight bus line alone by about 1,000 riders. Live in Northeast Portland, Carla Castano, Coin Six News.